Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're building my ultimate desk setup. Let's get into it. So let me start by saying this. This is probably excessive for a lot of things. You can get perfectly fine with any old computer, but for what I wanted, this meant expanding my equipment. I've been filming a lot on this camera, the Canon 700D, and my iPhone over there, it is shooting at 4k at 60 and i wanted to step things up a bit i wanted to compress the file size a bit more I wanted to produce more content and that's where this comes in let's start off with the monitor what you see behind me this is the dell p2422 h it is a 24 inch 1080p monitor that has a matte display gets super super bright and i got it for 150 euros it's down from 300 the, the monitor comes with a stand that's very, very adjustable, has lots of tilts, pivots, and turning, and all that. You can take it off the stand with just one button press, and the stand is included. How mental is that? Like, seriously? How can you say no to that? Now let's go on to the peripherals. The peripherals are the same. They're the Magic Mouse 2 and Keyboard 2. Now I know I could get the Magic Keyboard 3, but... Honestly, I don't need Touch ID that bad. I unlock my Mac with my watch anyways. Now let's go on to the speaker of choice. This is kind of a strange one. I use the Google Home Mini as a media player device. I don't use it for the smart functionality a lot of the time since I don't have smart bulbs, I don't really care. But what it is great for is just connecting my phone up as for a speaker and that kind of thing. And I like to play a few radio stations, so that really helps while I'm editing. Next, we have my 10.5 inch iPad Pro on the desk, which doesn't get used as an iPad Pro anymore, technically. It gets used as a sidecar display. Now, what sidecar is very good for is sidecar allows me to use my iPad as an external monitor, which means I didn't have to go out and buy a second monitor, which I'm really stoked about. The headphones of choice remain the same. The Sony WH-XB900Ns. These are noise cancelling headphones and they honestly do the best job of any noise cancelling headphones I've had to date. Obviously there's better ones but these do fine for what I need to do at the moment. You'll notice there's no webcam on this setup and there's no microphones in this setup. It's because I don't need it for the most part. If I'm going to do a conference call I might use my laptop but I am looking into getting the Logitech C270 webcam. It's a budget one, just a job, and it'll be fine for streaming, which I intend to do a lot more in the future. You might be wondering, what's powering the setup? Well, here's the fun part. This is the Apple Silicon Mac Mini. Apple Silicon is legitimately really, really amazing. I've been on record of saying, I don't need Apple Silicon. Apple Silicon is just an iPad chip in a desktop which is true. However, there's nothing wrong with that. What Apple is doing is they're simplifying their manufacturing lines and they're ensuring that anyone can just get a CPU that works really well. I mean, I've loaded this thing up in 4K at four timeline stacked on top of each other in Final Cut Pro. Deep and stutter. I don't use background render and I use high quality instead of better performance. I don't use proxies like I had to in Premiere Pro and it just works. I use 8 gigs of RAM and the 256 gigabyte hard drive and it's fine. You might ask why am I using a 256 gigabyte hard drive? Can't I get like a you know the one terabyte or two terabyte model? Well I like the idea of being able to transfer storage and I'm constantly on the go. I'm constantly traveling so the idea that I have external drives the same drives as every other time for Western Digital Elements drives this just makes things so much simpler. And the beauty of this setup, which I intend on using, part of this functionality is, I plan on traveling more at some point when things open up again. So the idea that I can just take the Mac Mini, throw it in a suitcase and get a portable monitor for it, bring a keyboard and mouse, and have my full desktop operating system from the power of a suitcase pretty much. That is incredible to me and why I'm super excited about Apple Silicon in general. This is only a first generation of Apple Silicon 
and my god, it's some of the best already. Some other little tidbits, I'm still using the Western Digital Elements drives because they're just the simplest drives I've used, I haven't had any trouble with them and I think they're amazing. Also, this monitor, something I forgot to mention, it has a little cable uh, cut out so you can route all your cables behind the monitor, super clean, super minimal, it has four USB uh, A ports, 3.0 speeds, it has a HDMI port and it has a VGA port and a USB downstream uh, port. So honestly, it has everything. And yes, the Mac Mini has two ports in it, USB, USB A ports, but it has Type C, so you can expand that in the future. And because I have this monitor, I have four extra USB A ports already. And that's the video. If you like this, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below, or join the Discord. Link is always in the video description. Let me know what your setup is on Twitter at TechWizYT, and I'll catch you next one. Goodbye.